number 10 from the Competent Communicator Manual. The project name is Inspire Your Audience. Life can be tricky at times, and when a person is plagued with negative thoughts, it feels a bit harder. Today, Nico will, Amiko will share with us a few tips that have helped her become more positive. The title of Amiko's speech is Three T Tips Three Tips Make a Life Positive. Please help me welcome Amiko. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. And thank you, fellow Toastmasters, and be a guest. Many people don't know that I have three boys. Two are really nice and I'm always proud of. But one, first one, is always something. Interestingly, I am younger than he is. My husband. <laughs> <laughs> so that reveals I have many hands. Like mother, wife, daughter, sister, and speaker, and more, just like you, and change the hat time to time during the day. If my emotion stacks up, well, please, it's kind of hard to move on to next. It sometimes ruins my days, weeks, sometimes longer. So I would like to share three tips that I learned over the years to motivate myself to be positive. Before I get in there, I would like to introduce one Chinese proverb. Sai Wen Shima, which means Mr. Sai's host. Long, long time ago, there was a man named Mr. Sai. He didn't need anything at all in his life but to one is his host, the other one is his only son. One day, he lost one host. The host ran away from his yard. Neighbor came to him and he said, sorry for your bad luck. Mr. Sai said, could be a bad luck, but maybe not. A few days later, the host came back with a radiant female host, the mate. And not only he was happy, but his son was so happy so that he brought on the, the new host every single day. And one day, he fell down. From the day on, the son became disabled. Neighbor came to and he said, we decided to hear about your bad luck. Mr. Sai said, there was a tra tragedy, and could be a bad luck, but maybe not. A few years passing by, China went into a war, so that many young men in the village was called, were called and lost their lives. But not his son, because he was disabled. What I learned from here is every situation is not temporary. I mean, is temporary, I'm sorry. It is not permanent. It is temporary. If I think that way, I can move on. When I was a teenager, I didn't know that, so I was stuck in one place where I lost my heart. But now I know. Second one is how to flip the way to appreciate. When I'm in a hurry on the freeway, someone cuts my way. Oh gosh! And the car all of a sudden goes so slow. Oh gosh, this is the left most lane. You are supposed to go faster than that. <laughs> And interestingly, once I complain, 
another complaint comes in. And something else, some, something else to complain comes up too. Just like a chain of the complaint. And what I felt was, oh gosh, I feel during my energy by complaining each one of them and after one. So I thought, could I change my behavior? Because I don't want to carry this emotion like this. I don't want to drain my energy time to time to do my day. Then thought about what's it what's the other side of the complaint? Probably. So it was like my a game, you know, game to play. How could I flip this situation into appreciation? First, think about the moment the car cut my way. Did I get the accident? No. I'm still fine. That's one thing I can appreciate it because it was so narrow. Close call. And anything else I can appreciate? Probably the driver. Because the driver goes slow to be sure he is safe. He doesn't get, or she doesn't get the accident. If the car in front of me gets the accident, I get even worse situation. I travel more. So, I appreciate thank you for going slow to be sure you are safe. That ensuring I am safe. And from the day on, my frustration is reduced dramatically. And in the last one, but not least one, as many people said that way, smile. Long, long time ago, when I was working on in an office in downtown Seattle, I had a bad day. I had to go out to cool, cool myself down. Oh gosh, how could I, how could I have this bad day? And I realized one lady was passing by. As she walked towards me, I realized her radiant beautiful smile. And that made me smile too. From the, from the moment I realized her beautiful face, I couldn't stop smiling. That smile made my day. See, smile doesn't make you feel good, but <coughs> smile gives you a happiness to people around you too. However, sometimes it's kind of hard to make smile, isn't it? When you are so angry after I fight with my husband, or so sad, losing something important. Why? Don't worry. In that case, use something, tools to make yourself smile. For example, the pen or chopsticks. Put it, put those on your mouth sideways. <laughs> or that my favorite one is fingers. Brown face. <laughs> Looks like smile face, right? <laughs> Surprisingly, by doing that, you confuse your brain to oh I was but must be happy now because I make happy smile. And then the brain produces happy chemicals inside of you. That's scientifically proven. So why don't we try it? And those three tips literally changed my life. Now I challenge you if I remember. My first one was every situation was Temporary. 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 Thank you. Not permanent, temporary. temporary. Right, thank you. And the second one, flip the way to appreciation. Thank you. Yes, appreciate. And the third one is smile. smile. Thank you. As it helped, those helped my life. 
Hope those help your life change. Thank you.